little souvenir. Just enjoying a lungful of bull durian air. <laughs> yes, a distinctive aroma, though perhaps not one worthy of bottling. 
Tell me, what curiosities have you and your companions discovered within the walls of this esteemed emporium? So, you have learned the truth of the enemy we face. The very tool with which its eponymous creator unmade magic itself. Perhaps now you understand what is at stake here, my boy. Though what Mr. asked of you was extreme, it was not without merit, nor demanded lightly. What are you saying? Or rather, what are you not saying? Mistra knows you defied her, Gail. Well, of course she knows. She's Mistra. She bids you come to her holy shrine in the Stormshore Tabernacle. There, she will grant you an audience at last. Curious enough to make the attempt. All right. An audience with the mother of magic, it is. Perhaps. Perhaps that should have been your mission right from the start. Trust in yourself. Trust in the weave. If you are willing, trust in Mistra. There is a conclusion yet to be written in this sorry tale, Gale of Waterdeep. And yours is the quill that will write it. So all it took to get Mistress attention was to learn how to reforge an artifact that once destroyed her. It's obvious when you stop to think about it. Well, I doubt it's an apology for asking me to die on her behalf. Whatever it is. If it's important enough to send Elminster, we can be damn sure she's serious. This is a conversation that's long overdue on both sides. I owe it to her to hear her out. Come what may afterwards. After you. since I stood before her in a place like this. I'm sure you like There she stands, just as Elminster promised. Mistra, goddess of the weave, mother of all magic. The old man wasn't lying. 
She's opened the summoning channel. Can't you feel it? Gail's right. The very air around the statue crackles with magic, as though the weave itself were coursing beneath her stony skin. A stream of pure, undiluted weave. I only have to reach out, and it will carry me to Mistra, wherever she may be. An audience with your goddess can go wrong. I should know. But do whatever you feel is best, Gale. Time was, I'd have given my right arm for a chance to speak with Mistra again. <laughs> the left one, too. Maybe a knee. faith in her than even I did. Understandable, though, when you have not loved her as deeply or known the depths of her affections. When I pictured this moment, I thought I'd feel more in control. Yet, yeah, here I am, with palms sweatier than a bugbear's armpit. I always wonder what being nervous would feel like. I hate it. You're kind to say so, but this is hardly my first time in Mistra's presence. During my time locked away in Waterdeep, I prepared a quite comprehensive speech for her on the subject of our former relationship and the manner in which it ended. Alas, recent events have rendered the majority of it moot, so I'm gonna have to improvise. Unless you have any words of wisdom to impart before I go. A heartfelt apology is the surest way to a goddess's heart and her favor. I pray that she'll be in a forgiving mood. If she weren't the one, I'd be praying too. I'll only be gone for a matter of moments. The Outer Plains experience time quite differently to our own. Wait for me. Please. Waterdeep. You look well. Mistra. I never thought we'd speak again like this. Why am I here? There is much unsaid between us, but time runs ever short. You discovered what lies at the heart of the Absolute, the Crown of Causes. And you disobeyed my instruction. Why? I didn't want to die. And when I saw the crown, I thought I might not have to, if I only understood its power. And you believe you have the right to such an understanding? The past cannot be undone with self-pity, nor can a future be forged. Only with the truth will you see the way ahead. The fragment of magic you tried to return to me was not of my creation. It was the Carsite Weave. It is a corrupted, half-born magic, wrought in the brief moment Cassus ascended to godhood. It hungers for power, just as he did, and it can never be sated. You unleashed something that would consume all magic in existence, and yet you thought only of preserving yourself. That can't be. It wasn't. Couldn't have been. I only wished to prove myself worthy. I had no idea. You were already worthy. What you lacked was patience, and it cost you dearly. When the Carsite Weave entered your body, your gifts 
were the first thing it consumed. The only reason the orb sleeps is because I have allowed it to feed on the true weave. A temporary measure, but one that will not be enough to save us. With each day that passes, the Elder Brain threatens to become a new kind of god. Its worshippers, a scourge of soulless illithids. If you will not use the orb to end this abomination, then you must find a way to separate crown and host. When you've done this, you must surrender the crown of Carsis to me. I won't let you down again. When the Absolute is vanquished, I will surrender Carsis' powers to you. You have my word. Thank you. May the Weave's light guide your purpose, and its wisdom guide your hand. The future of magic rests on your shoulders, Gale of Waterdeep. I promise you, it is a burden you are strong enough to bear. soil once more. I can't believe I saw it. After all this time. And what you felt was but the slightest drop drawn from the rushing torrent that is the weave. I confess, without my former prowess, even I struggle to stand her presence. The effects on the mortal body of such unfettered magical exposure cannot be overestimated. She held back in order to protect us, to make sure I heard her. The Carsite Weave, within me this whole time. I knew the orb was no ordinary ball of magic before it to be Carsus's malignant creation. Gods, how did I not see that? Hmm, true enough. There's a reason such unwitting heroes have been the backbone of lyric and legend for as long as both have existed. Even so, I was hardly some naive apprentice at the time. I considered myself an archmage, and yet was fool enough to be mistaken for a common conjurer. At least now I'm armed with the truth, and Mistress' expectations. Once I bring the crown of Carsus to her, I can put everything right. The orb, too. I'll be myself again. For all that's worth. wreck. Needless to say, I have work ahead of me before I feel myself truly redeemed. If I could, I will not let you down. Now, I believe we have a date with an elder brain to get to. Shall we?
I'm sure you'll understand if I remain unbound. She stands, just as Elminster promised. Mistra, goddess of the weave, mother of all magic. The old man wasn't lying. She's opened the summoning channel. Can't you feel it? Gail's right. The very air around the statue crackles with magic, as though the weave itself were coursing beneath her stony skin. A stream of pure, undiluted weave. I only have to reach out, and it will carry me to Mistra, wherever she may be. Time was I'd have given my right arm for a chance to speak with Mistra again. <laughs> the left one, too. Am I? I always wonder what being nervous would feel like. I hate it. Soil once more. I can't, as if it, I knew the orb was no ordinary ball of map, but I should. At least once I bring the crown of castles to her, I. Thank you. There are men. If I can promise. I will not let you down. Now, I believe we've a. 